In this video, we'll go over how to set up the Gibco CTS Rotea Counterflow Centrifugation System and walk through an example protocol. First, set up the instrument, plug in the power cord, and turn on the instrument using the toggle switch on the back. Next, connect to the tablet and open the Gibco CTS Rotea software. Second, navigate to a preset protocol. Click Select a Protocol and then Browse to find your protocol. Here, that'll be cell separation. Third, load the single-use kit. Start by hanging the bags in an order that best lines them up with the tube ports on the bubble sensor strip. Line up the kit with the two kit location buttons. Now, stretch the pump tubing around the peristaltic pump. Then, press the white bulb-shaped connector into place. Make sure the tubing over the pressure sensor is correctly placed in the tubing track. Attach the centrifuge chamber, or cone, by lifting the silver lever in the chamber carrier and securing it by returning the lever to its upright position. Press the tubing from each port on the kit into the tracks along the bubble sensor strip. Make sure the bags aren't tangled so you can easily follow the protocol progress. Lastly, close the door by pressing down on the door latch. The pump clamp will close, the cone will spin, and the valves will close. Fourth, run the operation. Begin by hitting Initiate on the tablet. A checklist will appear. The first four items are instrument checks. They'll have red X's instead of blue check marks if something's not right. The last two items are things you need to verify. Once you do, you're prompted to hit Start on the instrument. Fifth, after the protocol is complete, take the single-use kit with concentrate off the instrument. Aseptically seal the tubing and remove the desired output bag. Ensure manual clamps are closed to secure the fluid in each kit bag. Hit the unlock button on the instrument and open the door to access the cone. Then detach the cone, again using the lever. Pull the bulb connector out of its fitting and lift the kit away. Finally, dispose of the kit and unwanted bags in biohazard waste.